like sheep's wool. If that ain't an afro, my name ain't Eddie motherfucking Griffin. <laughs> Strong brother left the house when he was 13. That's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> that soft guy, they always had the movies marching around with that fucked up music playing. I'm like, is this the son of God? Are you getting ready to pick cotton? You know what I'm saying? Jesus left the house when he was 13. That's a bad motherfucker. Just walk up to his parents. Look, I got to go. They're like, no, baby, no, no, no. I got to go. I got people to save and what the walk on? See ya. walking around in no dusty drawers. <laughs> Jesus was knocking motherfuckers out. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you, you walk into a new town and tell somebody, I'm God's son. What's the first thing that come to your mind? Nigga, you tripping. <laughs> you better get on out of my face with that bullshit. I'm trying to sell these mushrooms here. <laughs> cause drugs ain't nothing new. Jesus stepped to him. Look, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Stop what you're doing, cause you about to ruin the style and the image that I'm used to. Like, yeah, right, Jesus clock him. Bye, yeah! Yes, Lord! <laughs> I see the light! A whole lot of them! <laughs> hey, Jesus was so cold, he was at the Last Supper Godfather style. Strong brother don't get loud, 12 motherfuckers eating his food. His homies. Back then, they called him apostles, homies, partners, his niggas, his road dogs. Eating up his shit. <laughs> Jesus sitting there scoping them out. <laughs> I know one of you motherfuckers snitched on me. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you slide because it's all in my father's plan. If it wasn't, I'd be whooping your monkey ass. Jesus was so cold, he was on the cross still talking shit. I'll be back in a couple of days. <laughs> These little nails don't mean shit. <laughs> they opened the tomb, Jesus was gone, John seen him walking down the street. Jesus, that you? It ain't Peter, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's power, man, to be able to wake somebody from the dead. That's power. Somebody breaking Jesus' mama house? Jesus be like, go on upstairs, baby girl. <laughs> no, no, you go on upstairs. I got this. Come on up behind that couch, nigga. Come on up behind that couch. You can't hide from me. This Jesus. <laughs> now, what the hell your problem, fool? You don't break in my mama house. That's the virgin. <laughs> There's something wrong with you, boy. You got a problem. You got a problem. Yeah, I got a problem. <laughs> I got a problem like a motherfucker, man. <laughs> See, I ain't got a lot of things. <laughs> so sometimes I have to take them. I heard about you, you that brother they call Jesus. Be doing miracles and shit. Won't you hook a nigga up one of the miracles? <laughs> I'm gonna hook your little ass up. First, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Bam, bam! Now get on up. Killing motherfuckers all day long. Bam! Get up, don't fuck with me no more. The line said 10 items or less. You know what I'm saying? Moses was another strong brother. I'm sorry it wasn't Charleston Heston. I'm sorry, we know Egypt is in Africa. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Moses had a big old nappy fro and a nappy beard. Cold brother walked into the Pharaoh by himself. At the time, the Pharaoh was the baddest motherfucker on the planet, like the president is today. Walked in with just a stick. <laughs> and he wasn't that begging shit they had Charles and Hessen doing. Would you please let him go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This was a nigga. You know he walked in, look here, motherfucker. I hate to have to put this stick on your head. 
stick a bad motherfucker, boy. I got frogs, mosquitoes in here. I'll whoop your ass. And you know the Pharaoh must have been sitting down cracking up. This nigga done lost his mind. <laughs> nigga, you been wandering around that desert too long. <laughs> your brain fried. I ain't letting these slaves go. Who gonna build my pyramid, fool? You ain't the only one with a stick. That nigga over there got a stick. He got a stick. That nigga got a stick. Oh, nigga, we'll stick you like a king. Now, since you my half-brother, I'm gonna let your ass slide. Cause I know you're deranged. See, Moses wasn't no fool. He seen all them guards, and then Moses was like, yeah, I'll give you to the mob. Next day, Pharaoh sitting around. She, uh, hey, where Moses at? You getting Moses up in here? Hey, what up, Moses? Look here, man. We're gonna go on and let the slaves go. Hey, can you take these mosquitoes back? <laughs> I said, Moses, no, the stick put out. Don't take back. Just get the fuck up. Hey, baby, you got any calamine lotion? <laughs> so Moses takes the slaves out to the Red Sea. Pharaoh changes his mind. And you know why he changed his mind, because his wife was on his case. You ain't nothing but old soft-ass nigga. <laughs> gonna let all them slaves go, nigga? Who gonna crush my grapes, make my wine? <laughs> that wasn't nothing but one nigga with a stick. Sticks. You need to be wearing that little skirt she got on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pharaoh got to play like he's still the man. You know, baby, I'm shutting him up. Shutting him up, you know, get him all out of the same place, and then I got him. You got any calamine lotion? <laughs> so the Pharaoh gets out to the Red Sea, sticks the staff in the water. Shit don't part immediately like it did in the movie. You know that nigga got nervous for a minute. Stand out to the side. Now what we gonna do, Moses? <laughs> they march me all the way out here, nigga. I can't swim. <laughs> now either this water part or I'm putting your ass. <laughs> and then when the water finally opened up, Moses wasn't the first one through. He didn't know how long that shit was gonna stand up. <laughs> Moses is like, go ahead, my people. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Shit, it's cool. <laughs> and you know there's a couple of motherfuckers walking through there. Shit, might as well get some catfish while we in here. <laughs> you gonna be hungry on the other side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The dumbest motherfucker in the Bible to me had to be Lot's wife <laughs> of Sodom and Gomorrah. This is the dumbest bitch ever. <laughs> she make Latoya look like a genius. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They live in a town called Sodom. You know what Sodom is? Ass fucking. <laughs> a town full of ass fuckers. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? God up in heaven, now I'm tired of smelling the shit. <laughs> I'm burning this motherfucker up. There's a lot of shit packing going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He came down the lot and his wife, and this was back in the days when God talked to you in stereo. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like today you be praying and shit, and then you hear something, and you be like, no, that's my head fucking with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is when it came in stereo. Sat him down, he said, look, Lot, I'm gonna burn all this shit up, you know what I'm saying? But you've been on your knees regular. You know, you and your wife ain't doing the freaky freaky. So I'm gonna let you know, get the fuck out of town. Take your wife, just get on out, and don't look back. 
said it again. Don't look back. Not like cool shit. Oh, hey, hey much love. <laughs> Baby, come on. Don't fuck that dress. Fuck them refrigerators. Just get your shit. Come on, let's go. <laughs> now, come on. Don't you look back. I like the pussy. Now, come on. <laughs> they walking down Lot's stupid ass wife. They get five miles outside of town. This bitch gonna doubt God's word. I don't know what he talking about. I wasn't see. <laughs> now, baby, I told you I like the pussy. Don't turn around. I wanna see, nigga. He's like, <laughs> kind of salty. <laughs> Show sure gonna miss that pussy. been real fucked up, man, before God made Eve, because there's no pussy. <laughs> he walking around the garden butt naked, jacking off naming shit. <laughs> Mad the mother, this shit ain't right. <laughs> Tree. <laughs> Giraffe. <laughs> Birds. I'll name y'all individually later, I'm tired. <laughs> Look at the professional jack and shit, know that thumb action. <laughs> Water come out this thing, but it won't go down. Kind of tingle right there. And you know, God must have been up in heaven tripping. Damn, what the hell did I forget? I got the trees, the air, the water. This nigga keep holding his dick. <laughs> Something missing. <laughs> Damn, nigga, what the hell did you get? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> hey, Adam. Yeah. Got something for you. Is it gonna make this go down? <laughs> oh, it'll handle it, it'll handle it. It's gonna cost you a rib. A rib? <laughs> go on, do what you gotta do. <laughs> do what you gotta do. <laughs> You didn't say it was gonna hurt. <laughs> now roll over and see what you got. <laughs> she, got, she got lumps on her chest. I'm gonna call you Eve, cause it's the evening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smell like that thing I call fish. <laughs> hey, she got hair, but she ain't got no thing. <laughs> oh, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. 
Yours go in, mine's come out. Open your leg. Leave them open! This is a subject that I have to talk about this evening. White peoples. <laughs> now, because I'm taking a course in archaeology, and I've come to the conclusion in my thesis <laughs> that they out they motherfucking mind. Got a motherfucking death wish. They don't give a fuck. Just bungee cord jump. Who the fuck came up with this shit? Leap. Leap! Somebody want to commit suicide, but not really. <laughs> you know how you know white people are crazy? Listen to their music. You know what I'm saying? Music will tell you a lot about people. That's why you know brothers are saying, we got music that got a beat you can follow. Doom, 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 mm, 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 a doom, 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 mm, mm, mm. Even Mexican people, lan tan ta ra la ran tan tan even little oriental people. White people. Just so sick ass shit. You know what I'm saying? They always talking about band and rap. They need to ban that heavy metal shit. Shit. Every time you go to the record store, you see one of them covers got devils with spikes in their heads, little kids coming out their nose on skateboards with candy in their head. Just sick ass shit. And every time they come out on stage, they always high out their motherfucking mind, their lyrics and some old fucked up shit. They come out on stage. about my mom. It's called Mommy's Gotta Go. Mommy came in the house. Try to hit me in the mouth. So I shot her in the head. Now Mommy's dead. Mommy's got Fucking good. Daddy walked in the door. Said, what you kill mommy for? I said, you better watch your step. Fuck up, you might be next. Oh, he's got to go. Mommy's got to go. And so do I. Peace out. Now. 
scalps and your scalp will be greasy. <laughs> we can really get there if you care enough for your Jerry. Make a better spray. Come on, make a better spray. Heal my curl. Everybody, make me a better spray for you. from the bottom of my heart. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all coming out and supporting me, you know what I'm saying? Making this thing happen. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I know y'all employ me. I'm glad to work for you. And I hope you keep enjoying what I do for you. Peace, I'm out.